What if the next big thing isn't a thing at all? It's lots of things, all waking up. Becoming part of the global phenomenon we call the Internet of Everything. Trees will talk to networks, will talk to scientists about climate change. Cars will talk to road sensors, will talk to stoplights about traffic efficiency. The ambulance will talk to patient records, will talk to doctors about saving lives. It's going to be amazing and exciting, and maybe, most remarkably, not that far away. The next big thing, we're going to wake the world up and watch with eyes wide as it gets to work. Cisco, tomorrow starts here. Today, my ambulance knew all about a bike accident just by talking to a helmet. It grabbed the patient's record before we even picked him up. It found out the doctor we needed was at St. Anne's. And it got his okay on treatment from miles away. It even pulled strings with the stoplights. My ambulance talks with smoke alarms and pilots and stadiums. But, of course, it's a good listener, too. Today, Cisco is connecting the Internet of Everything, so everything works like never before. Kind of a Zen garden putting green. This store knows how to handle a Saturday crowd. The parking lot helps by letting us know who's coming. The carts keep everyone on the right track. The power tools introduce themselves. All the bits and bulbs keep themselves stocked. And the doors even handle the checkout. So we can work on that thing that's stuck in the thing. Today, Cisco is connecting the internet of everything, so everyone goes home happy. When Kyrie surprised us with 18 points in the third quarter, the Cleveland Grid knew to divert power from the business district. And when he nabbed his sixth steal, the fans' posts told it to borrow just a little from Akron. So when he sank the game-winning three and the whole city stayed up to celebrate, their energy costs stayed down. And that's how Cisco is connecting the internet of everything so everyone wins. The banana anticipated the early harvest, which told the servers to alert the trucks. And they arranged the new delivery time with the supermarket chain, which put the current stock of bananas on sale. So the shopping cart, just to be extra helpful, suggested a delicious dessert recipe. And that's how Cisco is connecting the internet of everything to get supply chains perfectly linked. When the band dropped a second encore, the guitar told the exits to tell the router to tell the last trains to hold. The wristbands of the biggest fans got invites backstage. When everyone thought the night was over, the stadium sent an exclusive track to the 30,000 phones in the house. And the band? They were pretty good too. Cisco is connecting the internet of everything, so show business is good business. When the countdown started, power grids everywhere began gathering surplus energy. Then as the parties kicked off, the sleepy towns helped power the busy cities. And as the celebrations moved west, each grid kept the energy moving with them. So as the world stayed up, its energy costs stayed down. And that's how Cisco is connecting the internet of everything so power goes where it's needed. The internet of everything is changing shopping. So no one has to run out of anything. Cisco. Tomorrow starts here. This is the cat that drank the milk and let in the dog that jumped on the woman who brewed the coffee. Brew coffee. That woke the man who was late for work. All right. I gotta go. And drove the car. Driverless mode engaged. That found the parking spot. Find parking space. Parking space found that alerted the door that opened the control room. Hey, Bob. That secured the data that directed the turbines that powered the sprinklers that watered the grass. 
that fed the cow, that made the milk, that went to the store, that reminded the man to buy the milk, that was poured by the girl who loved the cat, that drank the milk. The internet of everything is changing everything. Cisco, tomorrow starts here.